Uh, this school was evacuated <coughs> because there was a bobcat in the in the school. It turned out it was just a house cat. That's pretty fun. That's pretty fun if you're in school because, as the administrators, if you hear rumors there's a bobcat in your school, you have to evacuate the school on the chance right. that it's correct. Sure. You can't be like, wait, someone get eyes on it and send me a picture so yeah. I can confirm it's actually a bobcat. You can't do that because there's... Wouldn't you want to stay? No, you if don't want... A, if there's a bobcat in the school and it's not in your classroom and you have a door... Yeah, that's a good call. I'm staying in the room instead so, of getting well, in the hallway like, with the bobcat. Maybe yeah, it feels they, like a lockdown situation. Yeah. Good call. Let's read the article. I think my school, we had. I think we had a lockdown because a deer like got into the school or something. That might have been a rumor. Some Pennsylvania bullshit. Well, I'm it's not. New Jersey. I'm not from Pennsylvania, <laughs> but but it's Pennsylvania bullshit. DVD. Yeah, they got the a deer lot of was from PA. He made the trip. He was visiting. Okay. Uh, officials at a Pennsylvania high school said a bobcat that prompted the building to be evacuated when it was spotted inside turned out to be an escaped house cat. Oh, they have a video of it, and then they do say that it's a clouded jack cat, and the breed has a silhouette similar to bobcat, and animal control officers agreed after seeing the security footage that it could be a bobcat. Okay. So, good, kudos to everyone. I think they handled this properly. We have, um, I don't want to hear what she's saying. I just want to see the video. Cat confusion. Well, maybe they tell us about <laughs> the process. Week, so, as a precaution, they sent the students that home early me. and called in the game commission. King. Uh, but this was no bobcat, just a regular house cat. Although it is a clouded jack cat, which is an exotic breed that kind of resembles the wild animal. Looks, I mean, identical. The colors of a bobcat. Uh, it's missing a tail, so... Uh, you know, so this guy's this cousin reported it and is covering for them. Students are safe and the uh, staff are safe. <laughs> well, from and that angle, it's a cat. That's a cat. cat. They but I think it, the security it, footage they show out it had been missing for the last three months, and now the cat named Kashi. What? Three months? That's not a house cat anymore. That's the story. I mean, that is a bobcat. Then. That's a bob. That's a once. A cat doesn't go missing for three months and not learn some shit in the wilderness. Like, it's been killing prey, attacking people, and it was going to get a kid. You don't know it was attacking people. It was going for children. A assumption. This, this cat can't be reintroduced to a house. Around oh. <laughs> this tall tail was a little scary yeah. for the school of So that's the picture I saw. pictures on the internet. Of it this does. Jack clouded. Like the way it, like its yeah. posture it from a yeah. 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 yeah, that, I mean, you see that picture. I'm, I don't know the difference, but I, you could... Yeah, it looks They're like approximating size. Um, yeah, the bigger news is it was missing for three months. Yeah. so I mean it's one with nature now. It's happy with for the family, I guess. That cat. or not? Like the dad hated the cat and thought it was gone because it was already it was already house. attacking his children. It's, it's, it's the cat is never attached. That cat attacks kids. That, that cat is dad never sent it out of the house and it headed straight to elementary school. Good thing they captured it. 